Hello everyone, Harry Bulldock here, editor at Total Telecom. In the last couple of years, we've seen 5G services rolled out around the world using a variety of spectrum bands, each with their own unique characteristics. But which bands make the most sense for operators and why? Today, I'm delighted to be joined by wireless specialist and research director at Strategy Analytics, Mr. Guang Yang, who's here with me today to discuss 5G and more specifically, the role of 700 megahertz spectrum. Uh, Guang, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, thank you, Harry. It's my great pleasure to talk with you. It's, it's, it's all my pleasure, Guang. Let's begin with a fairly broad question to start with. How would you describe the current global state of 5G deployment and which spectrum bands are currently the most popular? Yeah, uh, actually we can say uh, in global market, uh, we know China, South Korea and the US are the leading countries in terms of the 5G network deployment and subsequent growth. Um, we know in China and South Korea, operators are currently focused on the mid-band uh, uh, 3.5 or 2.6 uh, gigahertz band. And in the US, we have seen some deployments in high frequency band uh, military band and also in a lower frequency band, uh, 600 or 700 max band. Uh, recently, uh, the US operators have got some C band spectrums. Uh, we expect to see the, they, will con they will start the deployments uh, very soon. Uh, in addition to the uh, to these leading countries, we also see operators in Europe, in Middle East, uh, in Southeast Asia, and Latin America. They have started to deploy 5G networks as well. Um, from the global perspective, I think the C band uh, is still the major first band that 5G networks are deployed in. But we also see an increasing number of networks are deployed in military band and 700 max band. Um, if we count the number of networks deployed in uh, each band, uh, we can see the C band is the number one, and the millimeter wave band uh, is the number two, and the 700 max band is the number three. You mentioned China there as one of the world leaders for 5G. How does the Chinese market compare to the rest of the world, especially with regards to low frequency 5G spectrum usage? Yeah, yeah. Generally speaking, you know, Chinese operators have deployed a large number of 5G base stations. Uh, according to MIT, uh, the total number of 5G base stations in China by the end of June uh, should be up to, I think, 960,000 rounds. It's a huge number, right? Uh, but today, all of the, almost all of the base stations are deployed in mid-band. Uh, I mean, 3.5 or 2.6 gig band. Uh, the mid-band spectrum can provide a very good and high speed data experience. We have seen a very good result of network speed test in China. Um, but it's a bit challenging for operators to use this mid-band spectrum to build a nationwide coverage. You know, currently uh, the 5G networks in China mainly cover the tier three or above cities, mainly cover the cities. If operators hope to extend their coverage to the entire country, uh, I believe they need some lower frequency bands. Uh, so recently, uh, China Mobile and China Broadcasting Network, they have jointly uh, issued a tender uh, for 700 megahertz band 5G base stations. They will purchase more than 480,000 uh, 5G base stations for 700 megahertz band. It's a large number. And I expect they will um, complete the deployment of all the space stations by Q1 or Q2 of next year. So this will be, a, uh, I think this will be the largest 700 megahertz 5G networks in the worldwide. So it will improve the 5G coverage in China significantly. So what exactly are the advantages of 700 megahertz spectrum and what impact can it have for operator strategies when it comes to their deployment and investment? Yeah, good question. You know, we, we often call this um, 7 megahertz, 700 megahertz band as a golden band for mobile communication service. We know the band has a um, much better radio propagation and the building penetration than any higher frequency band. And the operators can use this band to 
we see band of filters can um, deploy a nationwide coverage uh, in a very cost effective way. We know uh, network coverage is a condition for operators to improve the 5G adoption rate. And it's also important for operator and the partners, their partners, uh, to develop the new applications such as industry IoT. Uh, in terms of China, uh, I believe China Mobile will use this band to extend its uh, market advantage to its competitors. And we uh, we will also can't forget the new entrance to the market, China Broadcasting Network. The company is a challenger in the market. I believe they will try to leverage the band uh, to challenge the incumbent operator. So uh, I think China Telecom and China Unicom have got some pressures. Actually, we have seen the, uh, the two operators have taken some reactions. I think two weeks or three weeks ago, the two operators have launched a joint tender uh, for 5G base stations in 2.1 uh, gigs band. Uh, they will purchase, I think, around 240,000 uh, 2.1 gigs band 5G base stations. They hope to use this band to extend their network coverage uh, to compete with China, Telecom, China Mobile and China Broadcasting Network. Um, so generally speaking, I think the, if we look at the number of total capex of Chinese operators, the number is even is the number for this year is even higher than that of last year. So I believe uh, 2021 will be another great year uh, for the vendors, infrastructure vendors in the market, particularly if uh, Chinese domestic um, vendors. Perhaps, perhaps you know, and uh, just yesterday. China Mobile and uh, China Broadcasting Network, they have released the results of the large tender for 700 megahertz band 5G base stations. And Huawei um, has, uh, is the number one, is the biggest winner actually. They got around, I think, 60% share. You know. Actually, in last year, Huawei has dominated the market, the China 5G market, with more than 50% share. But for this project, this large project, how it gets even higher market share. So I think it's a very good news for Huawei. In terms of the end users, what effect can 700 megahertz spectrum have for them? Yeah, um, yes, yeah, so just uh, um, as we just discussed right now, the uh, 700 megahertz band is a very um, good as uh, uh, radio propagation and indoor penetration. And uh, particularly for the rural areas, um, operators can build the network uh, with this band to extend the coverage in rural areas. I think it's important for either for operators or for government regulators to reduce the digital divide and to improve the user experience in rural areas. Another point I think is for the industry IoT, as I mentioned. Uh, actually, we have seen some um, applications such as um, smart power grid. Uh, with the 5G connectivity in rural areas, the operator of grid uh, can remotely uh, monitor and control the power grid in rural areas. So it's, um, it's a good uh, use case, I think. Um, another benefit is for the, um, the indoor coverage. Uh, I believe you have experienced some 5G services. Uh, for the 5G networks in C-band, you can only get the access to 5G when you are very close to the window. But for 700 max band, uh, the indoor coverage will be much better, I think. Uh, we know uh, more than 70% of data traffic today happens in indoor environment. So the good indoor coverage is very important for operators to improve the overall 5G user experience. So I guess more generally, what do you think the future of 700 megahertz spectrum is? And do you expect to see a, a large increase in 700 megahertz being deployed in China and in around the world in the near future? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think currently we have, there are already more than 30 countries that have uh, uh, auctioned or sent uh, sub one gig span, I mean, 600 or 700 max band for 5G. I think in, in next one or two years, there will be another more than 30 countries 
uh, to auction or send the spectrum. And the progress in China will be a great boost to the global ecosystem of 700 megahertz 5G. As we discussed right now, uh, China Mobile and the China Broadcasting Network, they will, they have, they will deploy more than uh, 480,000 base stations. And China Mobile have, has required the smartphone vendors to support the 700 max band in their smartphone uh, since October this year. So all of these activities will be a great boost to the ecosystem. It will benefit the entire industry chain from vendors to operators. And I think it will eventually benefit the customers in global market. It's a really fascinating time for 5G. Guang, thank you very much for talking to me. It's been really insightful. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.